Today we're going to be looking at some stuff from the forums. If you have not been to the forums yet, the address is filmsbychris.com forward slash forum. Uh, and uh, we got some code in here. And a little while back I did a uh, tutorial on making a bash script that would generate random lotto numbers. And there were a few issues with my scripts. And I had a lot of responses uh, on better ways to do it. And uh, I'm going to look at some of those ways and I'm going to incorporate that into making a dialog box that outputs uh, the random lotto number. So first thing here uh, we can either come down here and go to shell scripts or I'm just going to search up in the search box lotto and it brings up all the little different things that have the word lotto in them. I'm just going to click on this one here and you can see I posted the original little script uh, and then uh, some updates based on uh, this is one that I made that people told me that uh, some numbers were being repeated and I misunderstood and thought that you know if you ran the script enough that you would get the same lotto number every once in a while but what they meant was you can't have the same uh, two digit number in the six digit or six character lotto number if you know what I mean I misunderstood I rewrote a script that did that then I had some viewers write different ways to do it some people added the zero to the beginning of single digit numbers which was helpful and then uh, this one down here was a nice little short one and the one we're going to look at today first and uh, it was by a viewer uh, Tuxmind I posted it in the forum for here he posted it on the comments um, feel free to go to the com uh, forums and uh, and share your ideas there so other people can comment on them and we can keep things organized um, but basically what he's doing here uh, is he used the command sequence 99 so let me go into a terminal view here right there and type that in and basically that command will give us 0 uh, or sorry 0 1 through 99 so that one command takes care of the 0 issue and gives us all our numbers we need to work with what's the next part of his command well, let's have a look here it's sort dash capital R so let's put that in and what that does is it sorts it randomly so we still have 0 1 through 99 randomized next part of it is head 6 head is the command to if you just type head you're gonna get the first 10 lines of whatever file or input you give head uh, if you give if you give head um, <laughs> forgive me uh, if you do dash six, what it's going to do is output the first six lines. And we're looking for six numbers for a lotto number. So this will prevent us from getting repeat numbers. It gives us the zeros that we need before the single digits, and it gives us the random numbers. So the only thing we need to do now is add uh, one more command. And this command I was not familiar with. It's the FMT, which I believe stands for format, and I believe this command has a lot of features that I haven't even looked into yet, and I'm going to do a whole tutorial on that once I learn more about it. But just doing that by default puts all the numbers on one line. Boom, 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 boom. Um, I'm going to take it one step further, and I'm going to pipe that into a TR command. And what I'm going to do is TR will replace any single character with another character. And I'm, so I'm going to take all the spaces and I am going to make them dashes. So there we go. Every time you run this, you get another random lotto number with nicely spaced with little dashes. Once again, uh, most of that was done by Tuck's mind with my little uh, R, uh, TR addition at the end there. Now, in the forum, I added a little post here using Zenity, which if uh, you look at my older tutorials, I did a few on Zenity. I love Zenity. If you don't need a full GUI interface, and for those of you who don't know, GUI stands for graphic user interface. It's anything that's, when we're working in the command line here in the terminal, everything in here is a user interface. It's a text-based user interface. A GUI would be anything with windows, buttons, labels, uh, uh, you know, that sort of thing is a GUI interface. And Zenity allows you to make simple dialog boxes um, with very little effort. Uh, it's installed by default on a lot of systems. I believe on Ubuntu it is. I know on Linux Mint it is. If not, it's going to be in the repositories for most distributions, a very commonly used package. And um, just a quick review on Zenity. We're going to make uh, an info box. 
So basically, just save time, I'm going to copy and paste that. The command is Zenity space dash dash info is saying that it's an info style because you got different types of dialog boxes uh, which I've gone over in previous tutorials and then dash dash text will be the text on the box so I can say here hello world and there you go we get a little information box a little information icon that says hello world we'll click OK there and then uh, you can also give it a title the title of this one by default is information but if you say dash dash title and in quotations, you can say, this is your, or let's make it shorter. We'll just say your lucky lotto numbers are. And you can see it's kind of, the box is kind of small. But if I stretch this out, that says it up to the title there. So now what we have to do is take the this command and grab the output of that and put it into our text box here. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to erase where it says hello world. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to actually put it in quotations still. Dollar sign and then parentheses. And inside parentheses just put the command. And that will take the output of that command and uh, basically put that as the text for that. So. Um, oops, I just added, uh, what did I just do here? Yeah, I added quotations. Do I have the right number of quotations? Looks like it. Let's hit enter and see what happens. There we go. So we have you're lucky, not uh, you lucky. I do that all the time. I always forget the R. Let's, let's fix that real quick. <laughs> Your lucky not lotto numbers are, and it says that up at the title, and it gives you a random number. Run the command again, you get another random number. Same thing here, just keep running it, and each time you get a random number. So you can put an icon on your desktop that runs this one line script, and we'll give you a dialogue with a random lotto number. Once again, I do not guarantee the lotto numbers will win, they are just randomly generated. Now, if you are not working in a desktop environment and you're working in a place where you only have a uh, text interface, another tool that I've talked about in the past is just the dialog command. Once again, if it's not installed by default, it's in the repositories, so check your package manager for dialog. And it works very similar to Zenity, except for, I'll show you how it works here. I'm going to say dialog, which is the command, and I'll say dash dash title, and we'll say, well, we'll just use the same title from before, only when I spelt it right down here. <laughs> Your lucky lotto numbers are, if we hit enter at this point, well we get an error because we haven't finished the command. That's my bad. Uh, we're going to say what type of box it is before. For Zenity it was dash dash info. For Dialog it's dash dash info box. Very similar, little different. And um, once again we're going to say hello world for right now. And then you have to tell it um, how big you want the box. I'm going to start off and just say 5 and 25. We'll hit enter there and there we go. We get a dialog box but in the text-based inter interface. So if you don't have X running or basically if you don't have a desktop environment running you can do little dialog boxes like this. It's kind of a review on older videos but we're just incorporating new things we learn into it. Uh, once again, the, these, this is the size here, so 25 is the width. If I, if I change that up to 50, you can see we get a much wider box. I'm going to put it back to 25, and 5 is the height of the box. I'm going to put 15, you can see the box is longer. I'm going to put that down to 3, really, because we only need one line technically. And just as before, inside these quotations, we'll say dollar, dollar sign, parentheses, and inside those parentheses, we put our command, which is, as a review, we'll say SEQ for sequence, and we're going to say dash W99, so it's going to give us 1 through 99. We're going to pipe that into sort dash capital R, remember it is case sensitive, that will randomize the numbers. Head dash 6 will give us basically the first six numbers in those random numbers. We'll say FMT to format it, basically uh, those get them all on one line. And then we're going to go TR and we're going to replace the space with a dash with TR. And if we did everything right, we hit enter and there we go. 
your lucky num lucky lotto number is and there's that run it again you get another different random not number and anytime you get a random number and once again as I said earlier I do not guarantee these numbers will win this is more just for fun and a test um, Please visit filmsbychris.com and visit our forums, filmsbychris.com forward slash forum, especially if you have improvements, maybe a better way of doing this or just a different way of doing this. And uh, share in the forums. It helps keep everything organized. Uh, if you have comments, feel free to leave them here in this YouTube video. But if you have code or questions, post them in the forum. And if we get enough people using the forum, your questions could get answered faster and we can all learn from it just as I learned about the FMT command which I'm going to do some research on and do some videos on and I thank you once again for watching and I hope that you found this tutorial useful have a great day